Okay. Um, today, I will show you how to create a um, Perkinje network in a hard endocardium surface and then um, how to run the electrophysiology simulations on this Perkinje network. Um, you may know Perkinje network is a fast conducting fiber network um, that is in the inner surface, endocardium surface of ventricles. Um, and it helps with the contraction sequence of the heart so that the, the heart can pump the blood efficiently. Okay, so um, for this demo, um, we need to have the Simvascular and the Perkinje plugin installed. And then um, I have prepared a, uh, a file, um, a Simvascular project for this tutorial. Uh, to go through things quickly. Um, and I will start with running Simulascular app. Um, go to Applications folder, right click Simulascular and click Open. And if the Perkins Network tab comes open, then close it before um, you load any project. Okay. So I will import my project, go to File, Open SV Project, and mine is here. So you can just navigate into the directory that your project is in, or you can just create a new project. Okay, now uh, you can see that a left ventricular endocardium surface is imported. Uh, we will generate our per engine network on this surface. Um, you may import the surface from uh, an external file, or you may already have it in your project from a um, from an earlier segmentation. Just make sure that you have the surface types assigned in the SV modeling tab. So we double click LV model, and it opens the SV modeling tab. Here, uh, make sure that you have the surface types assigned. Um, we have one wall and uh, two caps in this model, in the surface model. So you can see them here. Okay, I will make this full screen and hide these planes. Okay. Um, this is our wall surface that we will create the protein network on. And now we need a um, surface mesh to generate the Perkins network. Um, for that purpose, um, we can get, generate the mesh um, from the surface file, but I already have one here. Um, so I will bring this from the um, project directory, uh, right click the RV mesh and load unload surface mesh and click yes on the pop-up window. Okay, I think it is imported. And um, yeah, unhide by clicking this little box. And we can hide um, the surface now. Okay, so we have our mesh right now. Um, now we can, um, we can start working on the Perkinje plugin. Now we go and click the Perkinje icon on top of the window in the toolbar. This opens a Perkinje network tab. Okay, so remember that we had three surfaces, uh, two caps and one surface. I will need to choose the one, the surface uh, that I will use for the Perkinje network. To do this, I, I bring the cursor on the wall surface and then hit the S key on the keyboard. So this should um, this should highlight uh, the surface that I selected in yellow. Um, and now we need to enter some parameters, enter the parameters of the uh, Perkins algorithm. Uh, these parameters depend on the geometry that we have. Um, so it requires some trial and error to find a good set. We have provide, we, I have a um, parameter set um, already that I have 
already um, exported earlier. So I will just load it. And you can see that the parameters have, um, have appeared in here. Alternatively, if you want to set them by yourself, uh, you need to start with selecting the first, first point in the, um, in the direction of the starting, um, starting direction of the Perkins network. So I will show you also how to do it. You need to zoom into the mesh first and select a, um, select a vertex for yourself. For example, let's say I choose this one. Okay, um, so I bring the cursor and then hold the command button or on Windows, you need to hold the control button and then left click. So this should place um, a red sphere and with a, uh, with a red line. Uh, the red sphere is the first starting point and the red line shows the um, starting direction. So you can choose it again to, uh, to change the direction. Um, yeah. Okay, I will choose this one. Uh, but actually, I will not choose this one, but um, I will load it from my parameters. Okay. And um, this one, because of a bug, this one is not loaded. Um, so I will just manually enter this 80. Um, like I said, this is very specific for the geometry, so it may depend uh, from uh, from geometry to geometry. It just we just found out that um, this parameter set works fine uh, for this example. Okay, now everything is here, and uh, I will hit the create network button. And this should take a few minutes uh, while the algorithm runs, and when this finishes. Um, we will find we will find the um, Perk Engine network created um, under the project directory under Perk Engine network tab. So I have them already um, in my project from earlier. But once the algorithm algorithm finishes running, you can see that these are going to be updated. see okay this has run and i will hide the mesh to see the network more clearly it is here um, this is a v2 file so you can also visualize it in um, in paraview Okay, now this one concludes the um, Perk Engine network. And I will move on with the electrophysiology, um, electrophysiology simulations. Sim uh, electrophysiology simulations are part of uh, our SVFSI module. It can be found on GitHub on the Simvascular page. Um, I think I have it here open. Uh, no, it's okay. Um, we are working on integrating SVFSI as a plugin, um, as a plugin into the Simvascular software. Um, but for now, we need to run it through um, terminal. So I navigate into the SVFSI folder and um, and start the terminal here. We need three um, three parameters. Uh, sorry, three files to start an electrophysiology simulation. Uh, first one is the Perk Engine Network Mesh in V2 format. This is the um, this is the same mesh that we have created uh, from the Perk Engine Perk Engine algorithm through uh, through Simvascular. And then we need a domain file, which I will explain later, and uh, and we need an in input script. Okay, now let's have a look at the input script. Okay. 
um, we have uh, three blocks here. In the first block, we can see the simulation parameters. For example, uh, the number of time steps and um, time step sizes here. Second block uh, defines the mesh file. Mesh file in this case is the Perkins network and um, it defines the domain, fi domain file. It's in here. And um, there is a, a last block, uh, the third block. Uh, it starts with uh, defining the simulated physics. In this case, it is the cardiac electrophysiology. It is um, here, CEP stands for cardiac electrophysiology. And um, we define different parameters, um, electrophysiology parameters on different parts of the mesh. Um, we do these by um, we do this by the domain blocks, which are here. The first, this, for, this is for the first domain, and um, this is for the second domain. Each element is assigned into a domain in the domain file, um, and as you can see, the main difference between the domains uh, is that the second domain receives a stimulus current in order to start the electrical activation. Stimulus parameters are also defined in here. Uh, so now I will open the domain file and show you what's inside. It looks like this. Um, so as you can see, there are just a few elements uh, assigned into the second domain. And this is this number, in this case, the four, four elements is enough to start the activation. And the rest of the elements are assigned into the first domain. Okay, now we have everything to run our simulation. Uh, using the terminal window, I will run the SVFSI executable um, with the input file. So that is SVFSI CEP Perkins. And hit enter. And uh, the simulation starts running. As you can see, it goes through time steps. And uh, you can see how, it, how your algorithm converges. I will not run it until the end because um, it takes some time and also I have the results saved in this folder. Yeah, they are here. Um, let's open a Paraview window. I have it here and um, import them into Paraview. I can see more clearly. Um, you can see that the activation has started from the first four elements that I have assigned into the second domain. And um, the rest is just the propagation of the electrical signal. So it looks like this. Okay, uh, so this concludes the electrophysiology demo as well. Um, thanks for watching. Now we can stop the 